All right. Hi, everybody. This is Dave Spector with Fret 12 Blues and Beyond, and we're very excited tonight to be here with Hubert Sumlin, one of the true giants of, of blues guitar. And Hubert, it's great, great to have you here. Welcome. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. You know, man, you go back to a oh, while, wow, man. Yeah. You don't come out. You don't really, what I mean, come out. You're an advanced man a lot. Thank music, you, music man, yeah. music wise, then you're trying to help people. You're doing a lot, man. Thank then you. you ain't forgot nothing. Ha <laughs> ha. In other words, I thank you to learn. Ha ha ha. got paid tonight, man. He thrilled me to see him come to the bandstand. I was glad he came. You hey, know? hey, we got to play Little Red Rooster together. Y yes, now, we did. You recorded that with Wolf? With Wolf. Back, was that in the late 50s? Show sure was, Dave. Yeah. Was in, yeah. I think it was 59. 59. So yes. back back at, at Chess Records, what kind of gear did you use back then in the studio? Did you know, I had a, a Wallbash amp. A Wallbash. A Wallbash amp. No, the first silver tone. Sis Roebuck. I'll never forget it. My first amplifier was a silver tone. But something happened to that amplifier, and, I, and Wolf bought me this wall bash. And they didn't make too many wall bash amps at this time. I don't think they, I, I guess they probably didn't make a hundred because I couldn't get the parts for, for this amp, this wall bash yeah. amp, you know? But I learned to fear the king. I learned to amp the fresh when I did. Get it fixed. I oh, learned yeah. it for the can. I ain't saw it no more. Oh, Freddie must have liked it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think he liked it too much, you know. But yeah. he told me, he said, he, but you know, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I blow the speaker. Mm -hmm. Blow the speaker. I said, yeah. you mean tell me blow that 15 inch speaker? Because that's the first amp I had, ever had, was a 15 inch. It had two little woofers yeah. up in the corner. Wabash. A Wabash. Oh man, it sounds great. Yeah, I bet. And so he said, yeah, he would say, I and I asked him for the tickets to them. And he, he couldn't produce the tickets. I said, oh, go ahead, old oh, man. You know, <laughs> musicians, you know how we is anyway. Yeah. You know, I know he needed an amplifier because that, that piece he had, it was sounding and he kept it up. But something happened to it. Yeah. I think he blew the speakers in it too. I did something to them, you know. But anyway. Yeah, so you were with Howlin' Wolf for about 20 years? 27. 27 years. Yeah, almost 27. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Traveled all over the world, right? Oh, Dave, we went some everywhere. You know, we was working this place in Chicago called Sibio's. I never forget this. And here come Horse Lipton, Horse Lipton Ride. Right. From Europe. And he came to the club there on the Saturday night, and he asked Wolf, say, hey, Wolf, can I get you over there? Wolf said, sure. So Wolf signed the contract that night. But Wolf told, had been told him about me, he said, if, if we signed the contract. He said, now, nah, you, you would have my guitar player. And, and uh, so he acted like he wasn't going to be anxious in me going. So Wolf brought him to me. <laughs> and he said, Dave, you said, I see, you know. So he asked me to go. And he, so he offered me, you know, I think I was making about $200 a week. And I, I was over there for, oh Lord, man, three months, three, almost three. I tell you what, we was over there until Christmas because we made it back. One day before Christmas, back back to the States. He was 17 of us left, Dave. A big tour all over here? It was a big tour, man. Uh, a lot of sugar pot, it's out the Sunny Land Slim. But, uh, uh, three with John Nelson, John Hammond Nixon. Oh, uh, Lord, it was Willie, a lot. Willie 17, Nixon was on? 17 of us. Yeah. And the, this was called the American Folk uh, Blues Festival. Yeah, that's right. And you know, a lot of that's available on DVD now. You, you know, I heard. Yeah. I, heard that. I don't have it yet. Oh, I got to get it for you because sure. there was footage of you playing this uh, wild guitar. I don't know what it was. A German guitar, man. Oh, I, yeah. My guitar, I had a Gibson. And uh, what happened, Sleepy John Estes, the blind man, 
Uh, guitar got fold. It just fold in the rain. Got wet up, man. Oh man! And it just fold. I ain't never seen a guitar it, it, it fold up like that one. Of course, it was a holly. It wasn't a holly body, but I, well, you can say it really? was holly because it was lacted. Uh huh. But man, it was soft body. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And it oh. just fold up on it. And you know what? I ain't never seen a blind man cry. <laughs> no, 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 no kidding. No, no kidding. No kidding, Dave. I saw tears in this guy's eyes. Oh, man. No. And so when I couldn't stand, I could stand. So when I went and bought this German guitar. Yeah. And, and nah, it wouldn't stay tuned, man. I had a, mm. a thing wrapped around the, yeah. up there with the screens, mm -hmm. where you put the screens on. If you ever look at this picture, and then you see who I get to, I know who I know yeah. you're gonna see me. Look at the top. Okay. Up there, a, you see a scrap. Wow. Well, I'm gonna get a DVD of that and I'm gonna send yeah, it to you. Okay. Me. All right, please. Because you got you do Smokestack Lightning with yes, Wolf? Yes, yes. And do you know you've done a good thing, Dave? This, this, these people, this record company, you these people? Yeah. That, that's nice. You're helping us too. Thanks. You're helping musicians, man. Yeah, we're trying to turn people and out not of only the that, I know you hate the heart. And so, and everything, man. Well, I learned so much from you. Uh, I'm glad. You know, I was 22 when I was on the road with you. 22. <laughs> Me, Sam Lee, <laughs> yeah. and all. Mark and Bill. Oh, you remember Mark and Bill, yeah. man? Oh, yes, you were. And Little Rich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Clark? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wasn't very good back then. Uh oh. Look, <laughs> but you were always very nice to me and encouraging. Well, you understood I was just starting you, out. You know what? In this business, Dave, and you know it. You know it now. I know. Uh, you got to be, do what you think is right. That's all. Yeah. Got to do what you think is right. If anybody, look. It's two kids used to come to me a long time ago. One was a bass player, one was a guitar player. Who I live at now. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something, now they got so good. <laughs> yeah. I can't see them. <laughs> yeah. Every day I did, I see them every day. I said, oh, you guys, you know, they, they hip hop it now, which yeah, is all okay. You know what I'm talking about? They doing all right, man. Hey Hugh, but I hear you're going to be playing the uh, another Crossroads Festival with with Eric Clapton sure next summer. Is, sure is on the tenth yeah. of I don't know what month. Uh, it's on the day date of the month. It's, it's on the tenth of uh, yeah, July. Maybe July or it must be. Okay, probably yes, because we're going to play the same park. I just got the news the other day. He sent okay. me the contract and, the, and oh man. Have you, you've known Eric Clapton since, what, the mid-60s? Oh, yeah. And yeah. you know, I had Dave. I had Blackie. He gave me Blackie. He did? That guitar. Yeah. Oh, Way yeah. back in the 60s, man. When I first, when we did the London session, when we didn't did the London session. I love that record. 67. Uh, no, 60s. It was in the 60s. Because Wolf yeah. died in 1976. He was, it, I tell you, it was in the 70s. That's when it was, man. He gave me Blackie. We did the London session. See uh, uh, what happened. He beat Key Richard out for the play with us. Okay. Key Richard's supposed to be on that show, supposed to be on another session. So they didn't get mad with one another. I don't think. Yeah. I don't <laughs> think they did. But anyway, Eric, he, he called Chess. The day before we went, before we were supposed to leave Chicago yeah. and do, do the London session. And I didn't even have a passport. They got me a visa. Wow. For two weeks. Yeah. And we went over there, we did the thing in, 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 in eight days. Mm -hmm. We could have did it uh, in, that, in a week, mm -hmm. but Whoop was sick. Mm -hmm. When they left here, we left Chess Studios. They had a doctor with Whoop mm -hmm. and from that time. Cause we left the next day, all the way to uh, London, stayed with him. Wow. Shot him every few minutes, mm -hmm. you know, still up to my heels, that sick man. Mm -hmm. And so two days, he didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. But 
We locked up in their studio. Yeah, I heard everybody was there. Mick oh, Jagger, Charlie man. Watts, Steve Winwood. Yes, sir. All was on the set. Ringo Starr. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the story I always heard was that, that Clapton invited you over to his house and he pretty did. much said, he did. see any guitars that pick you like? You, pick you, pick you. Don't be picking three of them. Really? You get, <laughs> you would forget to pick your three of them. Good. I went around. <laughs> he ain't told me to jump. I, I tell you, they ever kind of get really? to your name. I got, I picked, I, I bet you I plucked so many guitars. I didn't pluck them all. Because I, I stopped. I said, hey, man. He said, hey, you ain't seen nothing you like yet. You ain't, you ain't through. I said, look, what you got in them cases down there in the floor? I know where it was. <laughs> I know where it was. He started trembling. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. Oh, I saw it, man. I said, hey, man, you ain't no need you getting scared or anything. I, I wouldn't buy, I knew they should get to our dial. He said, you would, let me tell you, they, that is, they are. But if you want one of them, you up. He said, but now, nah, let me tell you something. You, he said, if I want to get to our back, will you please give it back? I'll buy it back. I said, no, you ain't gonna buy nothing back, man. I said, other words, yeah, if you want to get the back, I'll tell you what, I'll I, I, I give it back to you. I just want it just because it's, it's yours. Wow. That's what I wanted, just because it's yours. Sure enough, man, he let me have it. And he but gave he you black. Had, then. Look, I didn't rest now day after I got back home. Mm. He had his butler call. Last somebody called was his butler. Hey, old Jack. <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> Every girl you I said, look, man, <laughs> and you ain't the only one calling me. I said, please, please let me. I'm going to play Montreal. I told him. I said, you tell Eric I'm going to play Montreal. He got to play. I know I kept up with people dates and things, them, period. Because I knew he, I knew I'm going to have to give him his guitar back. Yeah. He, we played Esquire Club in Montreal. Mm -hmm. John Lee Hooker, us and John Lee Hooker. We was there for a week. And John Lee Hooker had to play a set and Wolf, and Wolf had to play a set. So after John Lee was first, and then we was off a set, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Between the sets, I took it, it's guitar, man. Wolf, Wolf told me to take it too. And he said, hey man, take a guitar as much as all we eat, because the Eric gonna be playing. I said, I know. Oh, I see. And I taking it over there where, to the hockey rain where he was playing. And man, they had they, they know that I was coming with that guitar. They had me uh, opening up all the man that the people lined up trying to get in. <laughs> Took me on back to the dressing room, man. Yeah. He stand up in the door. <laughs> <laughs> he was happy to see you. Yeah. <laughs> he said, how much you owe you? I said, nothing, yeah. nothing, nothing. I'm sorry I kept it so long, you know? <laughs> I never did play on that guitar. Never? Never. Yeah. Never, never played on it. Yeah. I, kept, I put strings on it. Mm -hmm. Did you know? That month I put strings on it. And yeah. so, I don't know that I put the strings on it right, you know, but he got it back. 